Hi everyone, you are welcome to our YouTube channel. Um, today we'll be looking at understanding net positive function head. Understanding net positive function head for centrifugal pumps. You see, a very important consideration in selecting a centrifugal pump is actually the conditions existing on the, on the pump function system. And these conditions are best expressed as the NPSH. And the full meaning of NPSH is net positive function, function head. And since centrifugal pumps are actually incapable of handling large quantities of vapor, you see, the pump's external function system must, is a must that um, it is provided with sufficient absolute pressure in order to prevent vaporization or flashing in the in the in the impeller okay so when this pressure is not is not sufficient to prevent vaporization you know the phenomenon known as cavitation occurs causing damage to the impeller reduction in the pump develop head and capacity and ultimately results into what you see as as noise and and what and vibration so um when you talk about mpsh which is the net positive function head they are in two you know categories we have the mpsha which is what is referred to as the net positive function head available and you have what you have as a npshr which is the net positive function head Head require, and we'll be looking at both the MPSHA and the MPSHR in this in this session. You see, pump manufacturers they determine by test the MPSHR, which is the net positive function head required. At they determine this MPSHR by test at at various capacities for a particular pump. Conversely, the MPSHA, which is the net positive function head available in the system is referred to as your what the net positive function head available you see for cavitation free operation the mpsha which is the net positive function head available must equal or exceed the mpshr at the at the desired capacity so you don't want to be the engineers responsible for installing a noisy slow damage pump so it is very critical to get the the MPSHR value to get the MPSHR, which is the net positive function head required value from the from the pump manufacturer, and you have to ensure that your MPSHA, which is the net positive function head available, will be adequate to cover to cover that that requirement. So the question now is what? is mpsha what is mpshr the mpsha which represents the net positive function head available is is the n head or energy available at the pump function the energy or the head available at the pump function to prevent cavitation in a pump is called the mpsha is called the net positive function head available and mpsha is actually the characteristic of your system and is a function of what of system configuration on the function side on the function side of the pump so that is your mpsha is actually the head that is made available at the pump function you see to prevent the phenomenon known as cavitation in your in your centrifugal pump and there is an expression to determine you, uh, the head or the, the energy available at that pump function, which is the MPSHA. And it is expressed by this expression. The MPSHA equals to your HA, which is the, which is the absolute pressure. The HA is the absolute pressure on the, on the surface of the liquid in, in your supply tank. The HA you see the mpsha equals to your ha the ha represents the absolute pressure on the surface of the liquid 
in the supply tank. You see, typically, your HA is the atmospheric pressure for a vented supply tank. But it can be different for closed tanks. And it is very important to mention that your HA, which is this your absolute pressure on the surface of the liquid in the supply tank, it's always, it's always positive. So your MPSHA is expressed as your absolute pressure, which is typically atmospheric pressure for a vented supply tank. But for closed tanks, it can actually vary. So your MPSHA is your absolute pressure plus or minus depending whether you have a positive suction system or you have a negative suction system. Your HZ is the vertical distance, which is actually the static head between the surface of the liquid in the supply tank and the center line of the pump. This is your HZ. You can see you can have plus or minus depending whether your system is a positive suction system or a negative suction system. It can be positive when the liquid level, when your liquid level is above the center line of the pump. You call it what? You call it static head for a positive suction system. So you will have plus. You have this positive sign. So you have your HA, which is your absolute pressure, plus your HZ, which is the static head for a positive suction system. However, it can be negative when the liquid level is below the center line of the pump. So it will be negative. You, you use the negative expression when you see that your liquid level is actually below the center line of the pump. That is, you have a suction lift, which is for a negative suction system. So your MPSHA your, is equal to the absolute pressure on the surface of the liquid in the supply tank plus... If it is, if it is, if the liquid level is above the center line of the pump, or otherwise it will be negative. If the liquid level is below, is below the center line of the pump, called the suction lift, minus what you call HF. Your HF is actually the frictional losses in the suction piping, and your frictional head losses. We have discussed this. In, the, in our previous session under this um, under this centrifugal pump series. So if you are yet to, to watch or to see the, the frictional head losses session, the link is in the description below. You can check the link to watch the how the frictional head losses is being calculated in your, in your pumping system. So your HF, which is the frictional losses in the suction piping, will also be subtracted in this in this expression to get your what to get your mpsha so the next will be plus your hv which is actually velocity head is the velocity head at the pump at the pump suction port oftentimes it's not your H, hv which is the velocity head at the pump suction port is not often included as it is normally quite it's normally quite small okay so the next thing will now be minus your hvp which is the absolute vapor pressure of of the liquid at the pumping at the pumping temperature so your hvp which is your vapor pressure must be subtracted in the end in this expression to make sure that the inlet pressure you see, stays above above the vapor pressure. So this expression gives you what is called the MPSHA, which is your net positive suction head available. And it is your system characteristics. Remember, we mentioned that your HA in this expression is the absolute pressure. Then it will be plus if you have a positive suction suction system that is you have your liquid level above above the pump center line otherwise it's going to be negative in this expression if you have a negative suction system which you call suction lifts that is you have the you have your liquid level below the pump below the pump center line your hz is the is the static head for a positive suction head system 
or you call it suction lift for a negative suction system. So minus your frictional head losses plus your your velocity head at the pump suction suction port. And don't forget, I said it's often not included as it is normally quite small. So minus your your vapor pressure, okay. And when you are when you are calculating your MPSHA, which is the net positive suction head available, using this expression, you have to take note of the units as all these parameters: the absolute pressure, your static head, your frictional head losses, your 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 velocity head at the pump suction port, or your vapor pressure must all be expressed in meter so that you can get so that you can get your what so that you can get your npsha which is the net positive suction head available which is the energy available at your pump suction to prevent to prevent cavitation okay so the next category of npsh is the net positive suction head required the npshr is the net positive suction head required. So what is MPSHR? MPSHR is the positive head required at the pump suction to overcome pump internal losses. And this MPSHR is actually the characteristic of the pump. Recall that I mentioned that the pump manufacturers determine by test the MPSHR at at various capacities for a particular pump. So it is critical to get the MPSHR value from pump manufacturer and to ensure that your MPSHA, your NPSHA, which is the M net positive suction head available, will be adequate to cover that requirement. For you to have cavitation-free operation, you have to keep MPSHA you have to keep your net positive suction head available uh, greater than your net positive suction head required. And this is very, very vital to ensure the smooth operation of your centrifugal pump. So this is all about and your net positive suction head available and your net positive suction head required don't forget i mentioned that your mpsha is what is the characteristics of your of your system meanwhile your mpshr the mpshr is the what is the characteristic of the pump so this will be the end of of this session so remember to click the subscribe button below so that you can always have access get notification whenever the the, the video tutorial sessions have been uploaded so click like and subscribe to this channel thank you very much